Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to use one CTE that's going to simplify a big part of this SQL statement. That's what this video is all about. Before we can start using a CTE, we have to have a function that kind of does what we need to do, at least gets the data available for us. And you can see here, I have a kind of simple select statement that goes out and counts CDs, counts my rentals, figures out my investment, you know, figures out my sales, and then uh, computes my profit or loss for each DVD that I own. So notice here that I replacement costs, my rental rate, my number of CDs I have, my number of rentals. The invested amount is actually, let's bring a calculator over here so we can see what we did. So. Invested amount actually is this number, the 2099, 20.99 times 0.33%. So that it equals 6.92 cents. And then I times it by my number of CDs times seven, which gives me 48, 49. So that's pretty much this number. That's my invested amount. I can't imagine a DVD company having to pay retail for their thing. So I thought it was around 33%. Um, then my sales is just this 99 cents times 23. I rented these DVDs. I have seven of them, a total of 23 times, which gave me $22.77. Now to get my profit and loss for this one line, I just took this number, 49 minus the 22, which gave me uh, negative $25. I'm, I'm in the hole. So I've got 48 into it and I've only made 22. Okay. So here you can see I've gotten all my data and now it's time to do a CTE work. Now, are you ready for this? Oh, guess what? We get to use this, this select statement. And then we're going to say with CTE data as, and then open parentheses. Now, I can tell you that I can come up here and give me all my columns here, you know, all these columns. But we're just going to say select uh, the columns that we need on the bottom. And that's open parentheses, close. Then what we say is we say select the sum of our columns, right? So we're going to do three columns, sum and then a sum. But what I want to do here is I want to say from CTE data, and we're just going to call that CTE. So here I'm going to come up and I'm going to say, say, sum CTE dot, which one are we going to do? Invested. I want, to get, I want this to produce one line and give me my totals. So my second one is my sales. And my third one is my profit or loss. Now, it would be nice if I kicked out a nice name for my column heading here as well. I can call this invested amount. And my next one would be gross sales. And my third one would be uh, profit or loss. And now that we have this all available, highlight that and do execute. And notice that we get one line. So this is what I want. This is what it all boils down to. And that's why I wanted to use a CTE to do this one liner. I still needed this one, but I was able to reuse that inside of my CTE. My invested amount is a little over 30,000. I grossed 47,000 and my profit was 16.6. So not a bad take.